Hi everyone, Gnev here. I've leveled so many characters on Warman that I lost count. You learned some things at that time, so in this video I'll share my route together with some tips to you guys, hoping that I can speed up your leveling process. I'm sure that some people did it in less than 5 hours of playtime, but I just haven't seen anyone do it before. I'm also proud to say that I did it completely alone. I used more than one account, but I didn't have anyone's help. So when can this video be useful to you? Maybe you want to boost a friend, an ult, or just sell the character for 30 coins on the website. Whatever it is, I hope I can help you. I usually quest naturally until I hit level 15 making sure I equip my heirlooms and bags when I reach Goldshire. I'm sure this part can be quicker if someone helps you, but I just really enjoy the early leveling, so I do it naturally. Luckily, I come across some people at Hogger spawn, so we take him down pretty easily. I bravely run away from Benny Blanco after taking his watch, and I do one more quest after that to hit 15. At this point I was at about 45 minutes of play time. Here I saw my hearthstone was on cooldown, so I went and I got something to eat. We're all human. After I came back, a handsome bold man offered to take me to a sex dungeon on his bike. How could I refuse? If you play Alliance on Warmain, you've been through this place. Probably 90% of all Alliance characters started with the stockades, including young Gnev. Now the most important thing while boosting someone is not pulling the mobs too close to them. I'm not sure why it works like this, but when you're outside approximately 100 yards, the XP gained is doubled. If you know why this exists, please type it in the comments. I breeze through the stockades going from 15 to 28 in 16 minutes. Just make sure to take the quest in front of the dungeon at level 22. This part took me up to an hour of play time. Next we go to the Scarlet Monastery. Walking there can be a bitch, but luckily I have two DKs from my multiboxing days parked there. You can join my discord in the description and send me a message there if you need help with your summon. The DKs are always there. The fastest of these dungeons is the cathedral, but if you don't have the key, you can do one run of the library to get it. I saw some classic videos where they boost people through this dungeon, and that isn't without reason, as there's a ton of mobs grouped in a really small dungeon. What's not to love? It took me only two full runs, which I did in less than 8 minutes to get from level 28 to 40. Our next stop is Zulfarak. You can take the portal in Dalaran to the Caverns of Time and walk or ride to there. One important thing to keep in mind is the dungeon instance lockout. You can only do 5 dungeons per hour, so if you're doing them too quickly, 
just chill out and do something else while you wait for it to pass. As you can see in this video, I came on my druid here. This is important for a few reasons. The mobs inside dismount you when you come close to them, but druids can partially avoid this with their travel form. It's also really easy to survive while pulling the mobs just by keeping a hot or two on yourself. You also see me pulling the mobs with a rank 1 moonfire or insect swarm. I do this so I can pull the mobs without killing them in the process. Every bit of XP counts. This pull can get a bit tricky and it took me a few tries to nail it. But when you learn it, it goes pretty clean. Like in the previous dungeons, two runs were enough to give me 10 levels and I went on to the next area. Once we hit level 50, we come to Stratholm. I use two more of my DKs and I go to the side entrance. If you don't have the key to the side entrance, just clear the dungeon normally until you get it. Stratholm is also a really great boosting dungeon as there is a shitload of mobs inside it without abilities that can hurt you too much. As we go through Stratholm, I'd like to talk about the channel a bit. I'm honestly shocked at just how many people are watching my videos lately, and I'd like to thank you all for the support and the kind words I've been getting in the comments. Also, I promise you that the videos will only improve in quality. Almost all of my time goes into making them and learning how to improve them. Notice how I try to keep the mage just outside of the double XP range, but obviously I fail in it from time to time. Anyways, after clearing the free ziggurats, we kill the belchers, say off Widers and to Rammstein, and we kill the boss. The mount of course doesn't drop, but on the second try it also doesn't drop. I then proceed to Hearthstone out and I get ready for Outland. Next, I walk to Outland. I literally walk, as I only train my mount riding ability once I reach Honor Hold. We all know this dungeon, Hellfire Ramparts. The mobs here actually hit pretty hard, so just be careful not to pull too many of them. While Outland questing is also a really fast way to level up, I don't think it can be measured with the XP you gain from just a few runs of this dungeon. With the double XP strategy, it only took me two runs out of this place to get up to level 64. Don't pay too much attention to the stopwatch, as I only remembered to turn it on too late. The next part of our journey 
takes us to the Cetric Halls. As I had a bit of a brain fart, I forgot to press the record button when I was boosting my mage, so I came back on my boomy to show you what I did. I really wasn't expecting this, but the mobs inside kicked my ass. The time lost controllers drop a ward that stuns you for 20 seconds. And the initiates put a shield on a random ad that reflects your spells. I hate to admit it, but I killed myself with it more than a few times. If you are boosting yourself on a caster, I would recommend trying a different dungeon, as this one was torture for me. If you know a good late TBC dungeon for this, please type it in the comments. Even with all the mistakes, I managed to do two full runs in less than 30 minutes. That was enough to bring me to level 68 and to Northrend. The journey to Borean Tundra took me some time, with some dude thinking I was a girl on the boat and a rogue killing me in the air. Even after 12 years, Vau is still full of virgins. The dungeon I chose for this part of the journey was the Nexus. It's a good dungeon to boost yourself in, as the mobs are of a fairly high level, but in retrospect, I really wish I came here on my Paladin. This is because the mobs at the left wing of the dungeon lower your spell damage by 75% and silence you fairly often. You see me almost dying here to those mobs, but I was able to pull out of it with Shadow Meld. Even with the rest of the dungeon being pretty easy, it took an hour and 20 minutes for the 7 levels I got there. No trend gets pretty tough. For our last chapter, we go to the Oculus. I can't tell you how much time I spent in this instance farming leather for my first Shadowmore, but that means I know it like the back of my hand. Notice where I leave my mage, so it can stay in range of experience, but not to be too close to the mobs. The skinning is the reason why I first started leveling characters here, as you can kill two birds with one stone. However, I was going for speed in this run, so I cleared all the constructs and the platforms in order to level up more quickly. These constructs hit like a truck if they get close to you, so try to kite them before they can lay down the law. It took me 7 runs of this, or a little less than an hour, and I was finally able to hit level 80. The final count is 5 hours and 7 minutes. I'm happy with the time, but I think that I can take it below 4 hours if I really try.
Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy my videos as a lot of effort goes into making them. And I'll see you in the next one.